Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So at last I've done the dio for the A7 German World War One tank. Um, if you recall I built this as part of the 48th hour um, build challenge that I did and it's the final one to receive its diorama. Um, the camera's going to probably pick up some mistakes and issues that I've done uh, but I've got to be honest this has taken so long to put together that I um, I think I've got to call it a, a day with this now. Um, so the A7 you've uh, seen before obviously. This is the World War One German wagon um, that I showed you on the previous video, the, the hat um, production in 170 second scale. Um, the only thing I wasn't certain about on this was the, the reins for the two horses. Um, I, I'm just um, a town boy so I know what a horse is but that's about as far as it goes so I don't know how the reins would work on having two horses whether they have two sets or one set that peels off so I've done it at, at that for the moment. Uh, this is the final thing that I did on the dial and I've got to admit it did my bleeding head in trying to get um, cotton to stick in the right places and um, to stay in the right places as well. But uh, it is what it is. Um, I've lost my turntable so I can't uh, show the, you this going round and round so I'll just have to move it myself. So I will move it round 90 degrees and we'll have a look at it again. Okay, so um, as I say, this is the, um, the, the wagon from Hat. Um, this foliage down here, I just wanted to give some idea how wide this road was and it wasn't just a wide open space. Um, the the chap here he's obviously looking at the um the new german invention um with uh, i don't know whether it's uh, awe or horror um the horse is uh, i'm paying it a blind bit of notice because it's uh, it's not moving or anything so um i really enjoyed putting the wagon together and painting it and painting the horses um but as i say the final bit to to do those um reins was just um, a bit of a nightmare so I'll move it around 90 degrees again. Okay, so at the back here we've got a bit of a scene um, with three figures. Um, two of the, These two figures are from the artillery, the hat artillery that I showed you. And this figure that sat down here is the other guy that usually goes with the wagon. Let me try and zoom in a bit. I've looked at this scene that I've created quite a bit and I've got to be honest, I'm kind of intrigued as to what this younger guy is saying to the veteran um, you know is as he just told him a joke and he's slapping me on slapping slapping him on the back is he suggesting the old guy gets a bit closer to the fire um, is he trying to console him because the veteran realizes that Germany's going to lose the war or is the veteran upset about youth again being used to to fight the war I don't know so many kind of scenarios that could be going on there. Um, really enjoyed painting these figures. The only issue was trying to get, trying to clean them up and that swarf that I was creating by sanding them. Um, I got most of it off, but there are one or two places where it looks like the fabric on the coats and wherever is frayed, which um, perhaps add to it. Um, the wooden stools that they're sat on you know the, the chunks of wood are basically um, um, branches from the budlier uh, that I've cut up so that uh, I could use them as these uh, more natural looking stools. I'll just pan it out a bit again. So we've got the other side of the road here um, delineated by the, the, the flock that's this side so it gives an idea of how you know as I say, that this is actually a road and not just a wide open space. The base um, was initially covered with polyfiller and then when that was dry, I um, dabbed on the, um, the texture paint from Games Workshop, Armageddon dust is it, or earth? Um, and then once that was dry, I just gave it an overall wash of um, Agrax Earth Shade to, to tone it all down. Um, 
I didn't bother highlighting it, I've left it as, as like um, a wet kind of, um, not so much muddy, but um, a wet clay kind of um, road. So that's it guys, I thought I'd leave this video on the basically the, the view that I think is, is best for this diorama and the one that I wanted to create. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Um, look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.